Hello, and welcome to this episode of Retro Game Living Room. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at one of the most forgotten game systems of the second generation. It's the APF TV Microcomputer, better known as, by its model number, the MP or M1000. The APF TV microcomputer system may be the most forgotten and most forgettable game console of the second generation. This was released in 1978 by APF Electronics. This is the model MP1000. The previous model was the M1000. The difference is, is that one has a power light while the other does not. APF was known for making calculators, which should be obvious to tell by the controller, before they entered the video game system market in 1976 with their TV Fun line of computers. A fun fact about APF, it is one of only four console manufacturers to survive the first generation and make the transition into the second, the others being Atari, Coleco, and Magnavox. APF was to fourth. Here's a look at the manual, which is in very bad condition. I do not have the box for this system. Another interesting fact about the system is it could be combined with the APF imagination machine in order to make an 8-bit computer. A planned Imagination Machine 2 was cancelled during the 1983 video game crash. In this video, I'll be demoing just one game, Rocket Patrol, which is the built-in game for the system. In Rocket Patrol, you play against the computer in single player mode, and the computer goes first, so you have to wait for its entire turn before you get a chance at the controls. This could take a while, and it's just really poor game design. Every TV microcomputer I've seen has this problem with displaying the graphics. Probably my guess is it wasn't built great and some capacitors are going bad, but for whatever reason, all of them have these visual distortions. Okay, so the computer got 15 points, so it's finally my turn to play the game. I can use the joystick to move left or right, and then hit the fire button to shoot the bullet. Man, this game is bad, and I'm bad at it. Eventually, the targets speed up. Which makes hitting them a lot harder. Then they slow back down again, screw you up even more. And that's game. This has been a close look at the APF TV microcomputer. As you can see, it's a very simple console. I'm going to take one more close look at these joysticks. You just have an up, down, left, right joystick and a fire button. These are actually not really good joysticks. We'll probably do a video on these controllers by themselves. Again, this was a quick look video. I have reviews of other APF games coming up, so see you next time.